cars over there. I walked in about there. That was a bit of fucking excitement there, mate. We're just waiting and waiting. The 180 grainers did their job on the side of that fellow's head. <laughs> He'll be a good one for the chiller. He's a bloody beauty. Yeah, I'm gonna get the tusk out of me. Well, um, we're doing and just it's yeah. all about timing, really, but a little bit of local knowledge, don't it? Yeah. Bloody hell. I was sitting down there, back to front, looking for pigs that way, and this bloody red boar came down here. He saw me two or three times, but he couldn't smell me. And then he was right on the water's edge, and he must have smelt me and fucking took off. And as he ran up, I spun around to have a shot. Followed him through these bits of trees here. And I finally got the barrel onto him. And then I shot fucking straight through there. Straight through. So I missed him. So I'm just enjoying a quiet one while I wait for a pig to come down to where I shot a pig yesterday. So I've got the shotty. And if I see a pig like the one I shot yesterday over there, there's a roo down there undisturbed. They come down from that low ground end. Now I could easily shoot at the 306. If this view comes down or a big boar, I just tried it out before and I could take that shot in. I can wade chest height out there and within shotgun range and shoot one from the water. Which will make good footage, I reckon. So I'm having a quick drink. And there's a lot of sign just there too on this side of the bank. So there we go. Stay tuned. Jesus. To make sure, <clears throat> yeah, they got wind of me, those buggers. Just heard the loudest pig squeal. The loudest pig squeal just then. I better go and investigate. Look at 
go. That was the mob we heard. She's a big pig. She's all just about ready to turn around too, I'll tell you. Well, for some reason, this I'm sure it was this guy, where they had a big squeal. Might have been settling the others down, I don't know. They might have smelt me. But I decided to get out and have a look, and they'd already been on the water since I'd been up and past there. And uh, I just had a look at him through the trees, and all I could see was his head, and that's all I needed. A big good boy here. Jesus. I wanted to make sure with this one. There's another black one I just hit just over here. Yeah, well this was the big boar out of the mob, probably the one making all the noise. But, uh, he's a cracker. 30-30. Oh, 30-30, good work. Well, as soon as that one took off, I hit him first, actually, that white one, because he looked the biggest. And when they all took off, he was still the biggest. So I just concentrated on that big one. Another tusky boar. Had to get in a bit closer with the shotgun, but it did the job. I'm going that way. Let's go look for another one. No mucking around with that plate. Yeah, 
He's a good pig. <laughs> Spike was very edgy. <laughs> but he, he right in the butt of the ear off. Right in the butt of the ear. Pigs down the bank. Wind's blowing backs and forwards, so I'm going to stalk in. Sake. completely missed. Oh, for fuck's sake. He deserves to get away that far. He stopped and looked at me as well. For fuck, that is the one I was freaking. He was the one I was fucking chasing. That would have capped it off if I got them both, but anyway. Just down there. The wind's blowing this way, see. Oh, it's big, big fucking hell. Shit, you can't complain about that. Jesus. Oh, would have been good to get the two, but anyway, that's big up. Sometimes the best pigs of a trip are the ones you never catch up with. Had a shower, we've had a feed. Shower and feed. And we're just watching the sunset. There's no other light that bloody interrupts the stars, so when it go, does get dark, it's just the constellations are bloody beautiful. Milky Way and all that sort of shit. Yeah. And the Jenny keeps the... Well, you'd think that the Jenny would attract the zombies, but because oh, the funny. house is fucking dark, we got the guns ready to go anyway, so if, if a bloody yeah, bush... Bloody zombies. If a bush zombie sneaks in, you just take him out, but uh, that's the only bloody trouble. Really? 